Welcome to Day Z. Today we are going over everything you need to know about Sakal's military bases, where they are, what loot they have, and how to get to them. So let's get you equipped to deal with the cold and the battles ahead. The first three locations we're going to talk about on this military guide are all going to be something that you could touch from your spawn. And they're going to be the first buildings in a tier 2 area, and we could use the volcano to navigate to them. The first one being the scientist research facility over here on the top left. Now the Volcano Research Facility is one of the better locations that you can reach from the spawn area, but it is also one of the hotter. Uh, people often camp out on these rocks over here and these rocks over here and look down into the compound and shoot at fresh spawns that are coming up to get loot because they know it's an easy fight. Uh, another thing I want to point out is inside of these cots here, these little uh, pods, is an opportunity for you to find scientific research keys here, the briefcase keys and metal key with a colored plastic cover. And when you put these in your inventory, it's important to also note, if you disconnect and reconnect, they'll be invisible, you won't be able to see them. But you're gonna take those keys and you're gonna put them somewhere around that volcano there is going to be an NBC zombie that looks just like these guys right here. And he is going to have a briefcase in his hand and he's gonna be laying flat on the ground. It's going to be a random spawn somewhere on that volcano. I don't want to spoil the location for you unless you want it to be known. You can find that on the internet somewhere else. But uh, I want to want to leave a little bit for you guys, right? But somewhere around that volcano is going to be a, a scientist with a briefcase. You're going to take those keys, and he's going to give you an item for the bunker and some other goodies in there, too, that I don't want to spoil for you. But in this compound, uh, one place that a lot of people don't look is on this box right here. This can spawn ammo or magazines or an optic all over the map these boxes can so if you ever see these boxes check them out also all the pill boxes outside so that one right there this guy right here and this dude right here all of these spawn loot as well so you got to make sure to check them just go into the middle tap tap your inventory really quick uh, you're going to find an sks probably at the top in here and at the bottom you're probably going to find like a 1911 you're going to find loot in here as well maybe a bison sometimes like there's a bison right there perfect and you're also alongside that military loot that you're going to find in these guys you're going to find a little bit of medical loot as well uh, always check these guys as well because they could spawn stuff in the cab here but this is a really good location and a great springboard to kind of get you ready to go inland because it's going to give you one a plate carrier Ooh, i forgot to tell you when the military zombies spawn in uh i guess i gotta wait for him maybe did they spawn in yet the military zombies spawn on this side it's important to note and the medical zombies spawn on this side okay so you can kind of get a grasp if someone's been here recently or if there's a lot of activity if you see the zombies like spread out all over the place uh different kinds but when they just spawn in it's military over here but let's see yeah there we go we found a plate carrier here so imagine spawning on the coast right there you come up the mountain and the first thing you find is a plate carrier look at this guy's got a backpack right they got some juice over here so it's a really great spot i highly recommend and it's going to be the first of three kind of locations we can go to to get ourselves armor in the beginning of our journey and also to get ourselves equipped with a gun and we're going to use the volcano to find all three of these here so let's go back down to the coast we're going to go to the science place that we just went if we see the volcano on our right we're going to go up to the left right we got the art back to the ocean here i'm looking up i see the volcano on my right i'm going to go up to the left now if the volcano is on my left however what i'm going to aim for what I'm going to aim for instead is going to be these two radio towers up here. So once again, if the volcano's on my left, I'm going to aim up towards those radio towers. And this is going to be the second location that we could sort of get to that's tier two. It's not military here. It is police, but all the same, it's a lot of loot. And I think it's a point of interest. You should be hitting on your way in if you have access to it. And this is the Storaz radio station. And inside of here, you're going to find exclusively police loot. So uh, your scorpion, your shotgun, your police pants right there. You know what I mean? You're going to find general police suit. And a lot of people will camp in here. So I've been camped right there. Someone's waited for me. And I've come in here and been like, oh, blah. And then I had someone camp in the restroom as well. Important to note, you will not find, generally speaking, you'll find a press vest here. But you will not find stuff on the roof. So don't bother coming up here. It just makes you really vulnerable. Uh, in general and it doesn't really provide you with much of an overview because they could just look down on you from the hill right there but 
This is the Storaz radio station, and in order to get from Storaz to the next military, we just need to go straight out the front door. So check this out. I'm going to elevate. I'm going to zoom in. There is our next destination, and if I go straight out the front door, let me just show you again. I'm at the front door. I just go straight out. What will happen is you'll hit this frozen lake, and this is one of two ways. You could go up to the radio station, or you could hit this lake to kind of navigate to this location. But you're going to go over here, and if you see these little pegs in the dirt here, these are showing that there's a road here, and the road breaks off to the right as well here, as signified by these pegs. So there's the radio station up here. We're going to come down the hill. We hit the lake. We're going to go across, and then we're going to go up. And this is going to take us to pick military. It actually doesn't have a name. So for any of these, actually, if you have a different name, like tell me which one I said it was and then tell me what your name is. I'm very curious what the community is calling these different locations. But pick is a wonderful location because one, you can find a plate carrier here. The hard thing about this location, I will say before they get here, because I imagine they're coming, is there's always wolves. There's wolves like I feel like they're hiding underground somewhere close by. Um, but it's kind of broken up into three categories here. We have first the or areas. First, we have the cargo sheds. Second, we have this tent compound here. I think that's a plate carrier. Yes, it is plate carrier. And then third, we have these barracks over here. Now, oh, someone's here right now. Ooh, someone's here. And look at they had another plate carrier over here if they wanted. So it's a really great spot and it's trafficked a lot as you can see right there. Uh, but way less traffic than the previous two that i just led on to uh this is pick military it's a wonderful spot i highly recommend if you come in you come in from this hill here for every location that we enter entering from elevation and looking down and getting some semblance of reconnaissance before we go in is incredibly important because imagine if i walked in from this angle here right i'm just right here do I have really any understanding of what's going on in the compound beyond this wall and that? No. But if I'm all the way over here, right? Well, now I can look down and figure out what's really going on. If I came over here, for example, and that person was here, I don't doubt that I would see a dead zombie somewhere. Oh, look at that dead zombie in the snow, right? And that would tell me, yo, I got to be on my toes right now. Someone's here and allow me to have a better understanding. So with every location, thank you for this person being here. I don't know who this is. Ooh, they are kitted though. Look at that. Ooh, look at juicy, baby. But instead of entering from a susceptible place, entering from the hill is always good. And that person kind of let us demonstrate that there. But this is pick military and this is also tier two. So you're gonna find an SKS. You're gonna find a Vega. I don't doubt if I go through here, we're gonna find maybe a Bison. Ooh, look at those good boots right there. SKS. Vega, double down on it. Another SKS right there. Uh, best insulation on that jacket as well. So a really great location to sort of get us ready to go inland. And I also want to point out, let's say you got here and you were worried about food or something. Something that Sakal provides different than other maps is other maps kind of tell you, yo, keep going inland, keep going inland. But on Sakal, you could come up to these militaries, get your loot, and just go straight back down to the coast and start fishing or doing something else. You don't have to keep heading on a linear path of, well, now that I'm here, I have to go there, right? Instead of that, make sure that we take care of ourselves and we make sure that our stats are good before we head in link. Because these three military locations that we just talked about, Pick, Storaz, and the Volcano Research Facility, all three of them kind of put us in a place where after we loot those it's a long way before there's another military or another building complex right so like this guy for example he probably has a bunch of food stored up maybe he's ready but if you were just a fresh spawn and you weren't geared all the way out going back to the coast is not a bad decision right now um and with that being said those are our three volcano militaries or i guess Storaz isn't really military but the three volcano spots that we're going to talk about now we're going to move a little bit deeper into the map didn't think you'd ever see hell up close, huh? This is Sashalog Prison Camp, and this is maybe one of the most heavily trafficked places on the entire map. Constantly people here. A billion zombies. Uh, here, let me teleport myself in the woods. So they start spawning. A billion zombies. And on top of that, 
you're going to find like the most frustrating fences you've ever seen in your life. Like <laughs> just processing them is pretty I hope to I hope to resolve a lot of that here with a little bit of guidance. So the compound is going to be full of these guys right here. And these are prisoners. They don't spawn any loot. This guy's a level 3 felon. Uh he murdered a family of I'm not going to go into detail about it, but you could see about it on like a true crime series on YouTube. But what we're going to be looking for instead are the police zombies, these guys, right? You know them well. They're going to have vests here. Also, alongside that, inside of these buildings, we're going to find a lot of loot. Look at that sniper right there. Uh, what is that? 1911, of course it is. They have a billion of those. Handcuffs, shotgun. A lot of the shotguns here don't have ammo in them. Very rarely have I... I don't think ever, actually, have I seen a shotgun spawn ammo in here yet. Um, but a lot of loot. We're going to find a press vest somewhere here, I promise. Uh, an ATOG site right there. Really good. Come on, press vest. Come on. Do Poppy proud. Come on. Come on, bro. Yeah, press vest. All right. So you're going to find a press vest. And important note, this building, this golden building here, spawns loot finally. So this is a building we can loot. It's got juice in it. Make sure to hit it up. We're also going to want to hit this guard post and all of these guys. But these guys are kind of like a risk versus reward, right? If you have an army of people watching, it may be worth it because look at we found a a nice little pistol in here but ultimately coming down this narrow walkway it makes us super vulnerable but let's talk about the compound because i feel like if i don't give you this guidance it's going to be hell you can enter through this fence but then you're pretty much stuck in here right you have to enter again into this area all right so i just learned something for you guys the right side is the devil and completely fenced in the left side has a gate on the back and you could just exit over here through the through the rubble uh, but in general when you come into these something I recommend let's say I was running in let me turn off ignored by creatures and I'm gonna show you what it'll look like got that horn on me that's a what 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 I'm right you're gonna come through here and it's hard to be quiet there's not many places for you to hide here so something I recommend if you get a bunch of aggro sorry I'm saying it in game if you get a bunch of aggro don't go in this barrack instead go in one of the middle barracks and you could just lie down in here if you really wanted to, right? And what's going to happen is all the zombies that are on you are going to aggro right here. Now, if someone was in this tower, which is where I found a lot of people are camping, can they shoot me right now? Nope. I'm on the other side of that wall, right? Where I'm currently at, they can't touch me. So I could sit here and I could cheese. There's a war going on over there. I could cheese all of these zombies through the fence or through the window here. Same thing for this side, right? You don't want to go in the first ones, the outside ones. You want to be in these middle ones. Someone is having a gunfight over there. It's brutal. Uh, this is our private server, by the way. If you guys want access to this, join the Discord. Everyone is welcome. As long as you're a cool person, don't be an asshole. But yeah, this is Sashalog Prison Camp. It's almost guaranteed to have hell in here. Uh, there's, there's a reason it started blizzarding right now. It's trying to show you guys just naturally it's not healthy here, right? Um... Important, once again, that we get elevation before we come in and we check the compound thoroughly as this facility in particular is going to be camped very often by geared people getting like people that are on the rim of living that are just barely making it here. They'll kill them when they come in, in my experience. So just be very careful here. This is Sashalog Prison. And if we look over to the left, we're going to go to Sashalog Radar Station. It's right up the hill from it. And this is barely a compound, honestly, with one barrack over here and an officer's checkpoint. Um, not a great location, but something I should just mention because it is connected by this little road. So if we go over that, over that little wooden bridge and we stay on that pathway, we're going to run right up to it. And yeah, that's all I really got to say about this spot, honestly. So in front of me, we have the Sashalog prison on our left and the Sashalog radar station on our right. If I turn my back to them 180... And I go across the hill. If it wasn't blizzarding, you would see it on a clear day. But we have these two radio towers. So let me go back really quick. We have Sashalog Prison and the radio, radar. <laughs> radar. We have the Sashalog Prison right here and the radar station over there. If we just go straight across, straight out of the back of it, we're going to run into these two towers up here. And this is going to lead us to Greben Military Mountain Compound. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know what to call it. I'm calling it Greben because this is the actual name that I saw online. 
Uh, but this is a really great facility. It's going to get us a lot of military gear. It's going to get us a lot of, in my experience, the essentials that I couldn't find elsewhere. The only thing about this spot is one, there's a lot of wolves here. And two, you're very high on the map right now. And the elevation, if you didn't know, it's colder, which means your food is going to deplete faster. And there's not many animals out here. And as a result, oftentimes you end up starving on your adventure up here. So something that I recommend if you do come here, make sure you have the heat buff the entire time and hurry through the compound. Uh, another thing when you do come in, obviously the mountain is the best because they're super overwatch. When you come in, you can use this building right here as a zombie repellent by going in here. I'm just gonna show you guys one more time for those of you that don't know. By going in here, let's say I had a billion zombies on me. Hey zombies, look at me, I'm Canadian. And close these doors and the zombies will all slowly come over there. By the way, plate carrier in this compound, just so you know. They'll all come over there and essentially I'm just gonna show it in principle. I'm not gonna, I guess I'll wait and I'll edit it. And then I could run over here, open this door, and run through. But this is a really great compound with a lot of loot. Multiple plate carriers here. So if you have a gang of people with you. And you need to get them plate carriers. You'll probably find about two here. Um, a lot of barracks on the low ground. And a bunch of barracks up top. I recommend that if you're going to loot through this area. Make it way quicker. Than if you're going to loot through this area here. You can kind of take your time. Military tents will spawn here as well. As you can see right here. Someone didn't carry that I imagine. And uh, yeah, make a fire before you leave. You're, this is still tier two. So we're still talking like SKSs, Bisons, kind of the basics, you know what I mean? Uh, but on the way out, we have a guard shack here and a little guard, a little checkpoint right here as well. Um, don't forget about the military up here as well, an extra barrack and uh, another guard shack. All right, so this is Greben Mountain. That's what I've been calling it at least. Uh, pretty good military loot here and I always hear people fight the wolves and then I catch them here so far. That's what my experience has been so far. But yeah, a great spot. Check it out. The next location we discuss is special to me because it's where I built my first base. So it's going to be navigated to normally by the geothermal plant, which is this bad boy right here. And it's going to be on the mountain right above it. And it does not have a name, so it's hard to hard for me to try and name it. But I've been calling it the geo radar station. And this is my home. This is the most frequent place I've been to. I found that a lot of these uh, essentials for base building I can find here. Uh, there's always a shovel here, it feels like. And I found plenty, plenty of hatchets. Uh, but a really great location. We have a bunch of barracks on the low ground over here. Four in total. Uh, wolves will always be up here. There's a wolf den nearby that I love. And uh, we have this radar station camo over here. And these industrials as well as a little checkpoint at the very entrance here. So not too many buildings, but the location is very well hidden. It's like you can only really see it if you're backtracking towards the area. Finding it from the geo side is really difficult. Um, something that I recommend too is when you're approaching, always come up to this radar blip. And something you should be thinking about is other people are also going to be trying to come up to this radar blip. Why? Because it provides incredibly good eyes. My ability to look down on the entire compound is massive, right? One thing that you will not find here, or I haven't found here, rather, is a plate carrier. I am yet to find a plate carrier here. So this isn't going to be a plate location, but it is going to be a spot. They're going to find a lot of base building stuff. Alongside that, you are going to find some of the essentials for those tier two guns that you've been rocking. Um, what else have I been finding here? That's about it, honestly. A lot of shovels and hatchets. If we leave the geothermal radar station deal up here and we go straight out this way, we are going to see Nagovo Airfield or Horobo is what it says on the map. And this is going to be a location where we're going to have a lot of big fights. There's going to be plate carrier fights here, people with AKs. Big loot fights are going to be going on here. Um, and it's kind of separated into two different compounds. So this being the first compound here where we see a bunch of these ambulances and uh, connected to the fire station and alongside that this like medical facility area and in here we're also going to find military guns and ammo and things like that alongside that we have an all new ATC and as I just saw right there we also have multiple plate carriers here I think in total maybe like three plate carriers here uh, but a really great location even in this first area 
You're going to find a, a fair amount of industrial stuff over here too. But uh, in this chamber right here is kind of where you're going to find the military loot here. But I highly recommend before you come in here, get on the hill, look down obviously. But make sure this fire station is clear. People have been camping this on me constantly. It's driving me insane. Um, I just want to shoot them and get it over with. But uh, next to this is where we're going to actually find the big, big juice. So this is going to be one side of the airfield. And then the other side, just on the other side of the trees here, is going to be the juicy side of the airfield. And this is where the tent compound is. We have a TEC in the back with the camo. And just behind the camo, we're going to find two more barrack here. This is the spot where people should be going when they come here first. But people have been going to that one, I think, and camping that one. This is where the loot is, in my experience so far. There's a whole bunch of tents. You're going to find SKSs. You're going to find mags for the guns that you've been rocking. All the Tier 2 goodies that you can imagine here. A lot of really good stuff. Is it Tier 2? Let me double check. Yes, it is Tier 2, it turns out. But a lot of really, really good loot here and plate carriers. Highly important that you check this. People will be camping up on top. People will be camping in this middle stallway. This is like a really good checkpoint to kind of gather yourself after a fight. After I recently got into a fight with a bunch of dudes, I camped in this building for what felt like ever um, just to heal up. And, and also, it's important to note that inside here we have this really cool location that I'm not going to tell you too much about. You should check it out. Um, yeah, but we have uh, this side of the airbase and that side. A couple notes that I would like to give you. If you enter from this side over here and you're looking down on the fire station, it allows you to just get a reconnaissance on this entire zone here, right? Imagine, look at, I can, I can understand everything that's happening in this zone just by this one spot. And for the second location, when you're approaching it after you clear this one, because a lot of people go here first, it just naturally kind of makes you go here first. Go through the swamps here. The swamps are incredibly well covered and it's like very difficult just to spot anyone in all the foliage, right? It's very possible that the only place you're gonna find loot in this building going to be under the stairs here um, this seems to be the old loot system on this building so maybe don't spend too much time on it move on from that but when you come over here you you're going to want to scoot behind 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 maybe even hit this tissy building here and move in the tec so you could have eyes down and then we're going to loot through the compound a really great spot ultimately i believe you can find loot on this radar station too um we're going to find loot way up here probably yep we got a little thing it is a little lopsided, so it can be a little difficult to traverse. Look at that explosive grenade. That's huge, HE grenade. Um, so there will be some loot up here as well. Alongside that, we also have this compound right next to the radar station that does have a little uh, military building. So yeah, that's the Hirobo or Nagovo airfield. I've been getting in a lot of fights here. I'm going to be having an official video that comes out. So now we go to the big boy stuff. We're moving into the to the tier four zone now after this airfield. The next location we're gonna talk about is the Petropav Harbor. And it is actually pronounced Petropavlovsk Zolashki Sea. Petropavlovsk Sachalski. Something like that, okay? That's like me trying to give it an honest view. Uh, this harbor is different than the rest. Pretty much everywhere on the map that you see cranes like this and you see sort of like harbor lines and all this, there's gonna be military tents and the loop may be decent there, but it's gonna be tier one, tier two. This is tier three loot. So pretty much, let me get the shot here. Pretty much everything in this shot is going to be military loot. Everything that a military building or container or tent is touching. So the school will have AKs in it. Um, I believe there's a box right here. There's a box right here that spawns, uh, look at 74U and shoes. These two tents will have guns in it. These cargo sheds right here. Um, everything here will have guns in it. Here, let me just... And this is a huge town in general. So a lot of people will have frame drop here. Something I recommend is if you're coming into the town, go to your video settings and just lower your visibility on terrain and object to low or poor. And then you're not going to be able to see the mountains, but why do you need to see the mountains? You're in the town, right? And that will give you a little bit of a frame boost while you're in here. Um... It's important always to keep eyes on the cranes when you come here as well. And also maybe even come into this building just so you can kind of get an understanding as to what's going on and have a controlled location for you to regulate zombies. But 
This is the Petropov Harbor. It is the biggest town on the map. Check it out. This is all Petropov, guys. All of that. It is a huge town. Um, and in here, we will also find uh, plate carrier zombies. So let me see if I can... Boom, right there. So a really great location. And this is going to be sort of our first location going into the military island, which is where I think maybe those shots are coming from. I can't tell right now. Um, but yeah, let's get into the military island here. So now we are going to be talking about the Boltno Land Bridge. And the checkpoint itself isn't too much to talk about. It is just a civilian barrack and this guard check. But what's important is on the other side. So this is the military island. In reality, it's not an island. I guess it's a peninsula. Peninsula, I'm pretty sure. But we're just going to follow the main road as we go in. And mainly what we're going to do for the entire first area is just follow this main road. I personally like skipping it entirely because I'm trying to get to loot fast. And there's not really much food here if you're not if you don't have fishing equipment. So I like getting out or going in and getting out rapidly. But if we stay on the main road all the way, we're going to get to this checkpoint in this barrack here. And there's going to be a little break off here where we could go up, loot this, and you're just going to go right back to the main road, which is going to be a theme for this entire island. You need to stay connected to the main road or connected to a shore with your body on it and moving deeper down the island. It's important that we don't get turned around and backtrack, which you can do very easily if you walk up here and then you start exploring out here. You end up walking all the way around and then coming back. And there will be like little bits of loot, like a pillbox here. But when you come here, you're coming here to get the juiciest of juicy loot. You want to do it quickly. You want to get to where there is a surplus of loot all in one area so you could vacuum it up and you could get the hell on, right? So if you are going to loot these things, go hit it and come right back. We're going to keep going down the main road here. Once again, you can go down there, but it's a pillbox and a guard shack. And keep going down the main road if you come back from it. And right about here. So these guys on the right, these are all going to have loot in them. We're going to want to check out all of these broken down buildings here. They're not normal broken down buildings. They are special. And then we're going to come over here, check out this little spot. Little V3S right there. And as we come up right about here, we're going to hit boom. This is the separating moment, okay? See how it kind of get it's all thick over there? And then it gets really slender in here. As soon as we hit this Ural tent right here, sorry, this Quonset hut, sorry. This is a separating moment from Naran, Naran, whatever it is, which is this side of the island, and Turger, which is down here. Now, Turger is a very big area. It is just, it's wide. Look how wide it gets right there compared to this. It gets way wider. And it's important that we don't spend too much time messing around in this area because you can starve to death here. Your food is depleting rapidly. So what I do is I kind of decide which side of Turger I want to hit. Do I want to hit the bunker side, which I'll give you proper pause when we get there and I'll let you stop or fast forward the video if you don't want spoilers on the bunker. Or do I want to go to the harbor side? And I'll show you what I mean. We head up the main road here. And eventually it's going to break off to the right on a dirt road. Oh, I missed it. Sorry. It's going to break off to the right on a dirt road. And this is going to be a bunch of broken down civilian buildings. And once again, juice, 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 juice. All through here. Really good loot. A really great location. But after you loot it, come right back to the main road. Like I said, obviously don't walk on the main road. We're in the, the highest military loot. Like keep the main road in your eye and run down with it, right? And what's going to happen is as you come down, you can turn right right here. And it will lead you to a harbor military base. And there is really good loot here and a plate carrier and all that good stuff. But... Me, personally, I skip this just because it is way off the beaten track. Look how far I got to go for that one series of buildings. Maybe I hit that on my way back, but it's like way out there kind of by itself. And if you do hit this, something that I recommend is that you just follow this line back. And that will kind of get you, you've made a decision that you're not going to do the harbor side. But I'm going to 
We're going to go into detail about that right now, okay? So we're, let me just rewind you. Here's the broken down houses. We're headed down the main road. We skip that road because we don't want to go to the radar station. There's nothing up there. We're going to keep going. To the right is the harbor military, but we're going to ignore that right now. And boom, right here is the separation, the fork in the road, right? To the left, we have the harbor. The harbor is like condensed military. It's all in this little area, like kind of connected. It's less than there is on the right side, but it is way more accessible and all kind of bunched up in a way that makes it quick. So the harbor side is sort of the lesser loot side, but the faster side, okay? And I'll just give you an example of what it looks like if you do run through here. When you come on through, we're going to loot through all of these buildings just about. On top of these, we'll also have good loot. So we have cargo pants here. But you can find really good stuff on here. So uh, it's not a ladder. It's a stairway. So just check on top of those as well. Um, always important that we get elevation. We check out the compound first. But as far as loot goes, you're going to find loot all through here. You're not going to find loot on these boats. At least I didn't find loot on those boats. It made me quite sad. Uh, but you're going to keep pushing... Pu <laughs> you're going to keep pushing through all the way to the opposite side of the harbor to where it ends. And eventually, once you loot through this entire compound, which a lot of this is going to be industrial, some of it's going to be military, some of it's going to be industrial. We also have these cargo sheds out on the out on the piers that you can run to. And they will have good loot in there, like another bison right here. Nothing great, though. Um, and as we keep going, keep going, keep going, we hit a military. And this is going to lead us to the end. Both runs, whether you go to the harbor or you go to the bunker side, are both going to end you right here going to the next area so this is that area when we talk about it after we finish the bunker side right now so let's go all the way back we're at the fork in the road again right we could go left or right this side is a labyrinth it is very complex it twists it turns it stops going the right direction if you just follow these these blocks on the road it will it'll starve you to death that's how i'll say it so something that I recommend, I'm going to give you a sort of pathway when you get here, okay? If we are going to the right and we break off here, you're going to follow these through, loot those, obviously. And we keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right here we have a military bunker if you want to loot that, or a barrack, sorry. You want to loot that, just come right back after you do. And then we keep going, keep going, we keep going, we keep going. Right here we hit a tent, okay? And it stops. There's no more. It forces you to go to the right if you want to keep following, right? You can go down here, and there is a Quonset hut, and another Quonset hut right there. You can go down there. Okay, this is where we were. But in reality, what you should do is you should just keep going straight. And this is going to take you to where the bunker is, the Sakal bunker, the one everyone's hyped on, right? When we go over, we're going to see that it's left to right. We're going to go through to the next up one. Going to keep going straight, and that will take us to this tower, which is sort of our marker for the bunker. Can you see the bunker right now? It's right in front of you. The bunker is right here. It is an all new building. And that is the door to the bunker. Okay. So our checkpoint for the bunker is going to be this guard shack right here. Or sorry, this, this watchtower right here. And also this orange or yellow brick building. Once we loot through these buildings, so we come through, we're going to loot through this entire compound here. Everything except for the bunker, we're going to leave that alone. So we're going to hit the watchtower, we're going to hit the barrack, we're going to hit the barrack, we're going to go over there, we're going to hit the sheds, we're going to hit that guy. We're going to go up to this radar tower right behind it. And what we're going to find here is another watchtower. And alongside this watchtower, there's going to be a bunch of like these, like hangar entrances, these bunker entrances, right? We're going to see them all around it. Check it out. Literally every one, two, three, four. That's Kamasi. And what we're going to do is we're going to navigate up to this watchtower eventually after we hit those bunkers, if we so choose. And then we're going to go to the real bunker. We're going to come down here. And this is where I'm going to tell you, if you want no spoilers, turn it off now. But if you want a basic spoiler, something that doesn't break anything, just give it a second here, okay? That building is where you want to go for the bunker control panel. And from there, you could figure out the rest, okay? If you want no spoilers, stop the video right now. Stop everything. Stop it. Stop it. Five, four, three, two, one. Inside of this electrical building here 
is a control panel. And at this control panel, you need to have a glow plug to put inside of it. And you need to have fuel. So if we look right here, the fuel is empty right now. So what we need is a jerry can. We go up to it. Sorry, let me put on my HUD. And we're going to refuel it. So we're going to fill it up. I have admin sheets, so it's going to fill it up right away. Look at It's all the way full now. That is going to allow us to turn this on. Let me delete this item because I put that there, actually. This is going to allow us to turn the generator on. Once the generator is on, now we need a teammate to man the switches while we run over to the bunker. But let me show you something that can happen if you man the switches improperly. So if you just press A1, and you come over here and you press A4, you're going to short circuit it, and the generator is going to turn off. So you can only access one door at a time, right? What you have to do once that happens is you have to come back to the generator and switch it on with the red button again. And then you can have your buddy wait. And while that happens, you're going to run beep, 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 over to the bunker right here. And here we are. So when we get here and the generator's running, everything's Gucci, we can open the bunker door. And after this opens, it's going to immediately shut. No timers, no nothing, immediately shut. And if we look in here, it is pitch black. All right, so we're gonna need a flashlight or something to carry us through this, okay? But once you get inside, your friend over at the panel, so let me just... So once you open the first door and you get inside and you open the second door, you're going to be in the bunker. It's going to be pitch black for you while you're in here. But for me, I'm an admin. I can do what I want, right? We're going to go down to the first layer. And as we see, we have A1 here, followed by A2, followed by A3, followed by A4, right? And your friend is going to press whichever bunker button is connected with the bunker. So I'll give you an idea here. So I just opened day one. If someone was down in the bunker, they would be greeted by that, right? A little bit of light. And let's talk about the loot that we would find in here now. So if we look, we have banana mag. We have Mosin ammo, banana mag, Mosin ammo. We got AK with a suppressor on it. Oh my god, AKM. Two AKM suppressors, a drum mag, a box of ammo that has a billion rounds in it, but SV mag, SV mag. Ooh, all the juice. Next door, SV98 mag, VSD. We have another SV98. We got everything. A little 76239, a little bit of Mosin, plate carrier that is colorful and beautiful. Next, we have ammo box. We have VSS ammo. You get the picture. There's a lot of loot down here, and it is in surplus right even in the medical one but what you're gonna do is every single time oh whoops I should have went in there every single time that you open a door you're gonna have to wait for that switch to shut off and then you're gonna have to go in and use another door right you're not gonna be able to click two doors at once it's gonna have to be a one operation at a time so then we're gonna put that door down we're gonna wait and we're gonna say okay a2 a2 boom and we can open a2 then we can open A3, right? And we could go one at a time. Then we can open A3. Boom, boom, boom. We're on fire. And if we don't want anyone else to be able to do it, we just need to take the glow plug out. So we got to turn it off. Take the glow plug. Boom. And that is the bunker. Everything around the bunker is also good loot. So all of these, like, little uh, hangers, all of these have really good loot in them, too. Check everything here. All of these hangers, everything. This military over here. Check it out. Check it out. All of this is good. I'm going to give you a flyover right now just so you can get a general picture. And I'll stop and I'll like point like there is this and there is that. Okay. So here we are. We're all the way back at the very beginning of this military island. We're going past. Remember, this is the separation. The Shanka tent. The Quonset hut. There's the broken down houses. There's the right where we could go to the harbor. Here's the fork in the road where we could go to the condensed loot harbor. Right. Or we could go to the bunker over here. If we're going to the bunker, we're going to follow the road down. 
Once it breaks off and it makes us go to the right, we're just going to go straight. And then we're going to go straight again, which is going to lead us to the bunker. You can loot everything here. Go over to the radio tower here. We're going to go to the other watchtower. And just underneath it is the bunker control panel. All right. And now after we finish that, what I recommend is you come out this back entrance and you just keep the ocean to your right and you keep heading this way. Eventually, you are going to end up right in this area. You're going to cross this road where it is connecting the bunker side of that. Those two ways that I gave you an ultimatum of it's connecting the bunker side back to the main road here. And this is going to put us in the last area. And this is Kearney Miss, the lower island. This is the only tier four zone on the entire map. Approaching this is anyone's guess. You can approach from any direction and you may be bested. Someone may be hiding there. Who knows? But in general, you're just going to follow this road. Follow the tiles all the way through. When you get here, there's a track that looks like a turtle back. So I call these turtles right here. These are the two turtles. Doesn't it look like a turtle from up top? Tell me it don't. Tell me it don't. Okay, so we could hit the two turtles there and then we come back to the main road. And as we come down, the main thing we're looking for is this area right here. The harbor. All of this is mwah, the juice. The biggest loot. We're going to get a plate carrier right over here normally. Uh, right by this. Let me make sure my camera's on. We're going to get a plate carrier right by this normally. Um, people camp in this TEC quite often. And in general, you're just going to find the biggest loot here. You're not going to find loot like the bunker. But you are going to find really good tier 4 loot that is super good and is going to leave you in a way to where you feel confident defending yourself. The problem with this is by the time you've gotten here and you've taken time to loot all of those buildings before you, you've run out of food. So something I recommend that if you're going to go to this part of this island and you're planning to go here, make sure you bring fishing utensils, right? We need the things to make fishing happen if we're going to come all the way out here and touch this. It's very important. Um, well, I've seen so many people, including myself, get all the way out here and I'm like, Sick, now I get the dope loot. And then I get out here and I realize, oh my goodness, I don't have anything to fish with right now. And I'm starving and I'm dying in the cold. And I have kidney stones right now. It's been tough. So something I recommend when you come all the way out here, do not ride the coast to come in. Find some trees, get close to some buildings, and use hard cover as you come in. Loot and get out. This is another area where there's huge frame drop. So something I recommend very highly is that if you are going to be coming in here, you make sure to lower... That visibility setting, right? You don't want this thing to be super high in here. You're going to have frame drop and it's going to make you have a panic attack. Um, but in general, there are three layers to this as well. We have the harbor here. We have this spot right here. I don't even know what to call this. And then we have the two turtles. Really good loot in here, but ultimately not as good as the bunker. If you can do the bunker, it's better for you. I'm going to quickly do a flyover of this island just so... Hopefully, it will give you another understanding of the island that you could look to to really, really process it here. So, on this upper side, all of this, there's the land bridge on the very right. This is all kind of garbage loot, right? This is the upper part of the island, Naran. It's for Normans. And then if we look right here, this is where the next part is. On the right, we have the harbor. If I go right here, so... Naran is all the way in the top right corner right now. On the right, we have the harbor. And on the left, we have the bunker. Right? You see the separation there? The middle ground in between them is kind of desolate. There's a little bit of sprinkle just to keep you looking around. But in reality, we should go to those hot spots while we're here. And make sure to get out rapidly as well. And then after we get through that, no matter what, look at even the right side where the bunker is, the road leads right back to this choke point right here right into the turtles and then ultimately into the harbor i hope this helped you guys i hope you benefit from this thank you so much for watching if you have names for these locations please let me know i i'm doing my best i i took this like a million times i messed up the audio i was i don't know man it was tough but i hope you guys enjoy it uh i learned a lot doing this as well so thank you guys so much for giving me an opportunity to create content for you. It's been a blast. We're about to hit 20K, baby. By the time this is out, I hope we hit 20K. Come on, baby. <laughs> Have you ever been playing Sakal and you wonder, where are my heli crashes at? What's going on? Well, the truth of the matter is they're way out here on the islands, completely disconnected from the mainland. 
Now these cargo containers are the random spawns that happen around the map. And they will give you American weapons like the M16. I bet you haven't seen this too much. Huh? What you, you miss this gun, do you? I don't. Um, and it will give you all the guns like DMRs, DMR mags, all these different things. You'll find them in these cargo containers out on the islands on the edges. The idea being that people were shipping weaponry in and they washed up on this shore or they crashed and then they landed here, whatever it may be. And you find them out on the islands, completely disconnected from the mainland. So this is part of the mainland. It's connected by the peninsula. Doesn't count. This over here, this is an island. So all the way around these, you can find these little cargo sheds. And that's where you'll find American weapons. It's important to note that every single coast that has a crane like this and a harbor is going to have a medical area and connected to that in the spawn areas is going to also have a military area. But these military zones are going to be pretty dry. They're not going to have too much. You're not going to find a crazy amount of gear here. So I did not include them in this guide because I think it goes without say that those are kind of lukewarm areas at best. But I hope the guide helped you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a different name, like I said, leave it down below. I care about you guys. Be good to each other out there. Or don't. <laughs>